Hey everybody, Joy here. It is, I don't know, right? Oh my gosh, I was gonna say it's around noon. It's 1.15 already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was gonna talk to you guys this morning, but I guess this morning's over with. It is Thursday, May 30, 2019. And I was gonna meet Mary today and we were gonna do some running around, but then I found out that her special needs son had an appointment with a specialist today. And she didn't want to, she didn't realize the appointment was today. Her husband had put it the wrong day on the calendar or something, and it was actually today. And knowing my huge blunder with my friend and how it hurts my feelings when she doesn't show up when she says she's going to, she didn't want to cancel with me. But when I found out that her son was going to see a specialist today, I said, that is absolutely crazy. You need to go with him, not me. <laughs> so we're not going to go see the new material store yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go home tomorrow morning. I'm just, my situation is still the situation that you all know about. <laughs> and it's got me lower than a snake's belly, let me tell you. But I'm trusting God that somehow he can send another miracle my way. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys something, speaking of small miracles. You remember the radio tower? You know how I'm here, as my husband says, I come here every five minutes because I don't have any internet down there and I get so frustrated because I can't make videos. And so we looked into that radio. It's a great big tall tower. So it has some kind of radio signals that reach another tower that's not very far away from our house. Well, the uh, bucket truck, I think that's what it's called, where it raises the man way up in the air. He had to get up as high as the tower goes to see if they could clear the treetops. The treetops have to be 50 foot or lower. Come to find out, they're only 45 feet tall in the area where this signal has to go. And the signal can easily go to two different towers. So, they're coming tomorrow. Um, they have to, I guess, dig up your yard and put cement in it. And, oh, I hate that. You know, one more ugly thing in our yard. We already have a satellite dish. And, a water thing and a storm shelter and <laughs> it is not attractive <laughs> so now we're gonna have this metal tower sticking up in the air but anyway Jerry called the people we had to call the sprinkler people and we had to call the electric people we had to call the water people and they have to come out and put flags all over our yard before the people come out next week to put this tower in our yard so that's happening tomorrow so I thought, well, I'll just go home tomorrow. I was gonna go to this bee sewing thing on Saturday morning, but I'm, I'm so sad right now that probably I shouldn't be around living people. <laughs> oh, <coughs> thank goodness Mary still wants to see me. <laughs> so anyway, um, Mary's bringing me some stuff that I'm gonna give to Terry and um, I'm going to meet her tomorrow for breakfast on my way home to Kingston. And then hopefully next week, the radio tower will get put in our yard and I will have a fast signal there to be able to make my videos for you guys. So, won't that be wonderful? <laughs> that part will be wonderful. <laughs> anyway, I don't really have anything to show you. You saw my crazy, crazy pants from yesterday. Um, I only wear those at home, believe me. I wouldn't dare wear those outside. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my goodness, and I have to tell you about my bad, bad friend, Margaret. You know my friend, Margaret. She's my friend that used to live across the street here. She's about 10, 12 years older than I am. She moved in across the street, and one day she came over and she knocked on my front door. And I opened the door and she said, hello. I live across the street from you and she said I noticed you have these curtains covering up your glass on your front door so people can't see through it and I was wondering if you could tell me where you got that curtain and so I invited her in introduced her to Jerry and um, told her that I had made the curtain and I would be happy to make her one so that's how we met and so the curtain is still on the door across the street where the tree blew down <laughs> but she doesn't live there anymore she lives about Oh, not very far from here, maybe two miles, two and a half at the most. She's in one of those places where um, 
mostly seniors live and somebody takes care of your yards and things there. She has a gorgeous place there. So anyway, that wasn't the story. The story is, I was just sitting here in this chair last night. This is my new chair where I sit and I watch YouTube videos. And um, the doorbell rang and I had those crazy pants on. I'd just done my video to you guys. I had those crazy pants on and that short little white top. And I was sitting here in this chair and ding dong. And I thought, oh dear Lord, who is that? And I looked and it was Margaret. So I went to the door in my crazy pants and I said, oh Margaret, oh my God, I look so horrible. I'm glad it's you. Guess why she was here? I know she watches my videos. Hello, Margaret, I know you're watching. <laughs> she came to bring me two fresh out of the oven s'mores cookies that her grandson baked at the Subway store. And she gave them to me. And I said, Margaret, I'm on a diet. And she said, well, you can take just one bite. So I opened it up and I looked inside and there was this warm, melty chocolate <laughs> and marshmallow. And so I broke off this little piece and I put it in my mouth. Oh, my heavens. That was the best tasting butter cookie I ever had. I ended up eating one cookie, which is why I don't have anything off my belly today. And I actually threw the other one in the garbage so I wouldn't be tempted to eat it. So, if I'm still as fat as I was yesterday, it's Margaret's fault. <laughs> Anyhow, thank God some of my friends still love me. <laughs> and I don't have anything to show you. I finished this blouse, and don't ask me what pattern it is. I forgot. I don't know. I made this last time I was here. And um, I think it was supposed to have that funny collar on it, that Dondi top, and I decided I didn't like the collar, so I made this one without it, I think, but I'm not for sure. So, anyway, I just hemmed the sleeves and the bottom and decided I would wear it. It's kind of really thin. You can kind of almost see through it, but anyway, it feels good in the heat. Okay, guys, I hopefully will be able to come back to you when I get to my other house. But if you don't see me for several days, it's because I don't have any internet down there and it takes two days and two nights to upload a 10 minute video. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm not blown away. It's a pretty sunny day. The storms have stopped and I think that we won't have any storms tomorrow either. So praise the Lord for that. And I will be back as soon as I have a signal and hopefully I will have my friend back when that happens, okay? I will let you all go for now. Bye.